good morning students i am mish moushmi sengupta your science teacher students as we all know that there are many systems in our body like digestive system nervous system circulatory system and many more circulatory system plays a vital role in our body vital role means an important role in our body as for example digested food oxygen goes to every cell of our body through this system so students let us begin with the first chapter of science that's human circulatory system today i will be teaching pages 1 2 and 3 of human circulatory system the human circulatory system consists of blood blood vessels and heart let us come to the first topic or first part of the circulatory system that is blood now blood has two parts one is plasma and other blood cells or the cellular part of blood plasma is the liquid part of blood now what is plasma made up of plasma has 90% water and it has in it digested food waste products dissolved gases vitamins enzymes antibodies etc now the cellular part of blood is or are of the blood cells are of three types one is rbc it's also called as erythrocytes next is wbc it's also called as leukocytes and platelets which are also called as thrombocytes let us start with the difference between rbc wbc and platelets now let's come first to the structure of rbcs rbcs are bigger comparatively that is compared to platelets but they have a disc shaped structure but the disc shape is biconcave okay now that is if the shape of rbc is asked you will say that they are biconcave disc shaped structures now next wbcs they have an amoeboid shape amoeboid shape means like amoeba they do not have a fixed shape that is the shape is irregular now platelets have a disc shaped structure but they have biconvex disc shaped structures and they are very minute fragments of cytoplasm now let's come to the next that is the color of rbcs rbcs as the name comes rbc means red blood cells means they have a they have red color wbcs are colorless platelets are colorless rbcs why they have a red color it is due to the pigment hemoglobin next is wbc they have uh, next coming to the difference between rbc wbc and platelets based on nucleus mature cells of rbc have no nucleus wbc's nucleus is present in them and platelets also uh, have no nucleus they do not have nucleus now what's life span life span means for how long they survive or they remain in our blood rbcs 
have a lifespan of 100 to 120 days. WBCs, they live for few hours to many days and platelets, they survive for 8 to 14 days. Again and again, that means RBC, WBC platelets have to be made or they should be present in blood. So, how they are produced? They are produced in bone marrow. Next, let's come to the function of RBC. RBCs deliver bound oxygen to cells. Bound oxygen to cells means the oxygen which is bound to the hemoglobin. That oxygen is transferred to different cells of our body. Next is WBC. WBC protects our body from diseases and platelets help in clotting of blood. Now next let's come to the functions of blood. Mainly we will do five functions of blood. So functions of blood means the functions of the cellular parts. So let us come to the first function of blood carries oxygen to the cells of the body. As we all know, this is RBC's function. Next is removes carbon dioxide from the body. Like oxygen, if it goes to the cells, then carbon dioxide also has to be removed. So that is also done with the help of blood. Next is blood protects the body from diseases. That is the function of WBC. And next is Helps in clotting of blood means platelets function. What do you mean by clotting students? Like if you have a minor cut, you all know that after some time the blood stops flowing. Why this happens? It is because of platelets present in your blood. Next function is blood also helps to keep the body temperature constant. Now let us come to the second part of circulatory system that is blood vessels. Now blood vessels means the tubes or pipes through which blood flows in our body. So they are mainly arteries, veins and capillaries. Now what are arteries? Arteries they carry the blood from heart to various parts of our body. Now what are veins? Veins carry blood from different parts of the body to heart. And what are capillaries? Capillaries, they are a network of um, arteries and veins. Now, the, where they are? There are numerous capillaries in our body. They are located in tissues and organs. Now, what is the function of capillary? They bring oxygen and nutrients to tissues and remove the waste products. So, students, we will do the remaining pages the next day.